Hello everyone and welcome back to the second part of the series of the advanced out of motion panel for Crazy Talk 7 Pro. So previously I showed you how to use the body and the, the head features in the panel here, remember? So this time around we're going to use the muscle enhancements. So first I want to show you what the projects look in comparison with projects made in Crazy Talk uh, 7 standard versus the ones made in Crazy Talk 7 Pro. So I have here a couple of projects that I would like to show you. And um, so the first here, for example, the ping pong standard, I made this project and obviously we had no muscle enhancements. And then I made a second project with the muscle enhancements. So we can see the difference here. Shh, we have to be very quiet. Okay, now let's check out the pro one. Shh, we have to be very quiet. A big difference, huh? So I want to show you some other projects I made for the facial animation. So here we're controlling the eyebrows with the beat of the voice energy. And I can also do a full facial animation. Pretty cool, huh? So let's see how, let's learn how we did this. So let's open the panel here and I will reset all. So this time around, we're going to use the facial muscles. So to start off, I will click on the eyebrows. So we can control the left eyebrow. We can lower it or raise it and we can do the same for the right. So let's try this. Okay, very simple. Now we also have another function up here in the, in the forehead. This controls the inner and outer brow. So for example, here I'm on the left brow, which is this one. So I want to raise the inner part. And you see the inner part here. And I can do the same for the right brow. Or I can raise the outer part of both. See that there. Okay, so basically with these functions, we're trying to do the same thing we did before with the face puppet. Okay, so with the face puppet, you can click on the foreground, on the, on the, on the forehead. I keep on saying foreground. You can click on the forehead here and now you will be controlling the inner and outer brow. So let's preview. So if I go up, it's the inner and then down is the outer. So again, what we're trying to do with the auto motion settings panel is that we are trying to use these new features so that they automatically create and generate your animations for you without having to use the face puppeteering panel and the mouse. So it's pretty cool stuff when you think about it. We're basically, we basically have this new panel that does all the work for you. You just have to drop in your voice energy and then tweak the, the, the settings. Great. So let's move now towards the eyelids. I can have them close left and right. Oh, wait a minute. Let me reset all. And close eyes left and right. And obviously I can set in a, an anticipation for one of them. And you see that the left eye is closing in first. Okay. So the next part is, are the lower eyelids, the same principle. If you can barely see this, you can go into the global settings here to increase the strength. Remember, these global settings control all the settings that you set in here first, okay? So let's try this again. And you see the lower eyelids here. Great, let's reset. And I want to show you the nose. I can wrinkle the nose and I can also have the left nose wing go up or the, the right nose wing go up too. Okay, left. You can barely see it there. And the right one. Okay, now we have the cheeks. So I can droop 
the left cheek edge or I can raise it and I can do the same for the right side. So let's droop both of them. He's got like a sad grin going on there or I can raise them in combination or at the same time. So he has sort of a happy smile here. Now, this brings up an interesting point where I can use specific uh, muscle combinations to either uh, make my, ha my character happy or I can make him sad. So let's try something. I will, let's see, we're on the cheeks right now. So let's raise the cheeks. Okay, he's happy here. Now let's go to the eyelids and let's raise them too. And we can even go to, to the eyebrows and raise these also. So it, it looks like he's enjoying the beat of the music. And I can get creative. I can go back to the cheeks and droop these. And I can go to the nose and I can wrinkle the nose. Now he's not enjoying that. So you can play with this and you can set up your own combinations. Okay. So let's reset and we go to the lips now where I can flatten or funnel them. Or I can have them sip or I can pucker the lips. One thing I do have to mention though, that the, you will only have mouth animation here if in the global settings, in mode settings, if you have a talk mode on. Again, if you have a listen mode, you will not get any, any mouth animation out of this character, even if you're setting these parameters. To take, so take note with that, okay? So the next part, the jaw. So pretty straightforward. Move this down. Or left and right. And I can give it a ping pong effect too. Okay, let's reset and we go to the last part, which are the shoulders. So I can control the right shoulder and I can control the left shoulder also. So let's try something. I will preview and move my left shoulder towards the right. I can move it up or down, back and front. Okay, so one quick thing is this that I could, I have the left shoulder here, so I activated, I added all these values here. And I can go to the right shoulder and I can type in the same values in here. Or I can do something else. You see these two buttons here? This one is called the mirror function and this one is the copy function. So if I have uh, the left side activated and I have all these values inside, then I simply need to copy and have everything inside the right shoulder too and I can preview. Okay. And I can also mirror these, which will create exact opposites of all the settings and pass them to the other side. See that? Okay, let's reset. So the last part I want to show you are the eyes. And this is, these are one of the most important ones. Um, so let's click on the eye here and I have the left eyeball activated so we could Have the left ball move eyeball move or go up Okay, I can even drop ping pong effects To both of them Okay Reset and I can also shrink the iris or enlarge it to the beat Yep, there we go. So let's set something in. And I will copy or mirror. Let's copy first to the right side. And then I will mirror. And let's say I want my left eyeball to go up. Okay, take note about something. Um, many times when we set these, these uh, some of these settings, right? And I choose copy. 
then if I'm previewing and I am switching another parameter on the left side, this is not being passed towards the right because I did not click on copy again or mirror again. So just take note about that. So let's reset. And here we go. Eyeball, the, the eyes rotate. This is the last part. So I can have my eyes um, go off center. So I'm in the left eye here and I will move this towards the right. Let's preview. Okay. Notice that if I let it go, there's no movement. I am simply offsetting towards the left or the right. If I want a movement, I have to dictate it here with counterclockwise or clockwise. I can copy. Let's do this again. I can copy on this side. And I can set an anticipation if I'd like to to my left eye. You can see the right eye is trailing the left. Awesome stuff. Okay, so now we're at my favorite part where we get to replicate our project. So here, I will reset all and I will apply this. Okay, so we got rid of all the facial animation and I will open this back up and we will recreate everything from scratch. Now, remember, in the first part, the part one of this uh, advanced series, we talked about if you want to create an organic, natural-looking animation, it's always a good idea to choose a body part that will lead the animation. So before, we had an anticipation on the face, on the head, and then we had the body follow through. So this time, we're going to do the same. We're going to have that, we're going to simulate that wave motion by having the left side anticipate the right side. Okay? So let's try this. Upper, um, the, the upper, the inner and outer brows, I want to raise both of them. Okay? But I will anticipate the left and I will delay the right. And now we will have that wave uh, motion here. See that? Okay, now let's go to the eyebrows. So let's increase these at about there. I'll give it a value of 70. And I will do the same for the right side. Okay, so remember, since we anticipated the left side, we will do the same for the left side brow. Okay, I will give it a value of 4. And I will leave the right one as it is. So let's preview. Nice, it's coming along. Now let's go to the left eyeball. And I will make this eyeball go up by 50. And I will anticipate this, remember, by 2. Okay, now let's do the same for the right eyeball. So I can copy the values or remember, I can just click on this um, option here for copy. And I can go to the right side. And instead of having it anticipate, I will delay. Again, the left side has um, the left side has an anticipation, and the right side has a delay. Okay, lower eyelids. So I will raise both of them up, and again, anticipate the left and delay the right. Let's see what it looks like. Awesome. Okay, the nose. Let's have it wrinkle. And both left nose wing and right nose wing will go up, but I will anticipate and delay. So you're getting to see the pattern already. And the last part, well, second to last, would be the cheeks, where I want to raise both cheeks. And I will anticipate and delay. Perfecto. And the jaw will be our last part. So I want a value of 8 here. And I want, let's say, I want my, my jaw to move left and right. But I want, that, uh, I want a ping pong effect. So we know what to do here. So let's just see what it looks like. Okay. And let's ping pong this. Or increase the value. Or just get rid of it. Let's leave it at zero here. 
Awesome stuff. And we are done, people. Now let's see what it looks like. Awesome stuff. So now you know how to use both your body, your head, and also how to set in muscle enhancements for the outer motion panel. Thank you, and stay tuned for part three of this tutorial series.